Red 2 standing by, all four lit, and in the green we're heading to the south after being dudded on a treasure chest. I had way too much money and yeah, we kind of suffered. But we're heading out to the south now. Our destination is the Forest Haven, but we can make a few detours on the way. Now, there's something over here, isn't there? There is an island. There is an island and there is something else we can find out here too. So, this particular island... I can't remember what it is. Well, it's obviously stormy. So, it's... Oh, it's volcanic. Well, that's nice. Where's the fish? It's also not. Ah, oh, there's the fish. It's also night. Now, I'm pretty certain that there's a submarine or something around here. Might as well put the bait there. I'd prefer to look for things during the day, especially not in a thunderstorm. Hi, small fry, you really are an idiot being out on a boat in the middle of a thunderstorm. But I've heard I take it you want to chart an information about this island? I think you'd mu be much better off with a lightning rod or something that can d distract the thunder. Thunder and l well, distract the thunder and lightning. But it's not going to be my problem if you wind up getting electrocuted, small fry. Fire Mountain, where they hold a rally. You see that there volcano that's spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah, well they say there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. The thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away by the great balls of fire that come shooting off the top. Say, that sounds like a really good title for a song. I should probably use that sometime. Anyway, if you want to get inside, you ought to go find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here. That's where the powder freeze anything is hidden. Or so they say. Maybe it's not true, but it wouldn't hurt to look, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait in the water for me. You know all that stuff, I can't go fight an evil on an empty stomach, and with that, I'm off. And it's not very pleasant when a fish goes off. Wait a minute. What's... What's that out there? Hang on. Triangle Island. It's a fairy island. Is it a long way off our destination? Probably. But, we're out in the ocean and we're nearly there, so... Oh, come off it! Jerk! I'll steer you right into that damn volcano. You'll be kindling. Ugh. I want to be adventurous. I want to go and see and do things. I know there's a submarine nearby. It's much, much more fun actually trying to do different things. Maybe I'll park him under some cannons. don't think they actually have active cannons yet. Hang on. Oh no, they've got active cannons. Alright, we're doing donuts in a boat. So, we're right under the guns. If I take out... If I take out the Bokoblins, I should be able to... Uh, please get up the ladder. Right, well we can take care of the cannons, we can defeat the Bokoblins up here, and it's the principle of the thing. I need to take it out on somebody because I'm not being allowed to go adventuring. And that is the entire point of the game, going adventuring. The railroading is a pain in the butt. Oh yeah, crap. That wasn't great. This is probably just money. Ten bucks. It's the principle of the thing. And 
and in we go. So. Okay, okay, so the cannons aren't going to stop firing. So there's an island near here. Right, we've got to go a bit further south. But I know there's a submarine nearby. Oh, that... Wait, that's not supposed to happen! I'm not supposed to be able to do this yet! That's the... the Wait, this, this isn't supposed to happen. I can't fight this yet. That's not... No. I need a boomerang for that. These, aren't, these weren't supposed to appear until you got the boomerang. So I literally cannot do anything except get dragged into the whirlpool. I can't attack it. What? I... Ugh. So yet you actually can't do anything unless you have the boomerang. What in the blue blazes? God damn it, it nearly spat us into the volcano. Okay, so that that sucked. I really did not know that you could actually run into big octos when you didn't have the boomerang. That's stupid. I just saw the whole host of seagulls and then we got launched out. So you can... You can always tell where big octos are by the massive crowds of seagulls that appear. There is another island nearby. I think that's it. If we bear straight on the path to the next island, I'm certain there's a submarine nearby. I'm absolutely convinced of it. So watch out for seagulls, the skies will get very stormy and you'll have to fight a big octo. But you can only fight them if you've got the boomerang. That was stupid. Because you just have to sit there, unable to do anything, and then you just sort of get spat back out. Watch out for those... Uh... Oh, don't tell. Please tell me this is a natural thunderstorm. Treasure! There's treasure. We've got treasure. Hit the anchors. Metaphorically. Cruise just a little further ahead. And we've got... Come on, this had better be good. I've been forgetting to take pictures of enemies too. But I suppose that's for later. Maybe if the stupid boat had actually let me go out to the distant island, I might have been able to get a bigger wallet, and I might have even been able to fit the silver rupees in my wallet, but no, the stupid boat won't let me go in any direction other than south. This is karmic punishment for robbing my grandmother, isn't it?
Alright, I'm sorry I took the money from Grandma's house. I was just curious. I didn't even realize we could rob Grandma. Alright, what have you got to say? Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, it's chart and information and all that. Open up your seat, chart. Eastern Triangle Island. Tell me, small fryer, have you ever caught a fairy before? Because from what I've been told, when you've been beaten to a pub by monsters and such and you think that you've finally met your match, if you've got a fairy with you, then you've got nothing to worry about. Don't you wish you had something handy for carrying fairies around with you, fryer? If you want one, go south from here until you see a miserable looking submarine floating on the sea. Look there. That's all the info I've got to offer, blah blah blah, more bait can't fight evil on an empty stomach, and with that, I'm off! So that's where it is. Full speed ahead, stand by the ram beetle! Crash. There we are, we have rammed beetle and... Don't try and steal my boat, he's trying to sail off with my, without my boat, can I... Actually, get into Beetle Shop. I want to buy a couple more bits of bait. Oh. oh, thank you, as always. I appreciate your business. If you have anything to you want to sell, yada yada yada, would you prefer to buy something? Thank Let's put an. You. Let's. Thank you. I can't. I think I can buy one more. There we are. I think our bait bag is well and truly topped up. So we'll leave Beetle to just ponder the mysteries of life. I can't jump straight into the boat, which is a little annoying. All right, we're fine. We're going in the direction you want me to because we need to find a submarine, and we need to find an island on top of that. That looks like our island. Ah. Oh. How exactly am I supposed to- I can't fight yet, because I can't use the grappling hook on my boat. It is just that, grappling. Alright, can we see the fish? Oh, this is- the journey south has just been terrible. Alright, what's this? It's got a thing. Alright. Where's the fish? Where's the fish? There it is. Oh, wait a minute. That's got a Korok on it. So we have to go against the wind. I'm pretty sure I can get something out of... from mucking around on this island. Cruising is very slow, but it's also very consistent. It's very slow. And it keeps... we keep running into thunderstorms. We must wind up sailing into the same damn storm system. Hi, small fry. Nice to see you're trying to get electrocuted again. You'll succeed someday if you really, really do want to get electrocuted, but I'd recommend against it. Open up your sea chart. Bomb Island. This should be a blast. <laughs> you ought to come sail these seas on nights when the right half of the moon is missing. It'll give you shivers, Fry. That's all the info I've got to offer. Blah, blah, blah. You know, the whole spiel my family provides. Alright, Bomb Island. Let's crash on into the island. And see what it has. We're probably going to need bombs. Oh wait, you're not a... I thought you were a Korok. Ho ho! To think that over there, there would be such a container. There's the submarine. So that's what we're really after. 
So, if we climb up here... Are there bomb flowers, or do I have to come back here with bombs? I may have to come back here with bombs. Because there does not seem to be a bomb flower. Which is extremely annoying. So, yes, I will have to come back here with bombs. Oh well, let's... Let's get out to that submarine. Still got a bit of time. Why does it not... Why does it show me my... Why does it show me my map on some occasions and not on others? Okay. Out this way, we will find our submarine. And a cannon tower. Alright. And there's another bockable. Let's park the ship here. Good, we can steal joy pendants from those ones. Always do your best to steal joy pendants. Just so you can get the side quest with Mrs. Marie sorted as quickly as possible. Oh, very nice. Never knew what hit him. And, okay. Could have gone better. Oh wait, there's a rat. And he's dead. Just money because... I wound up stealing the joy pendant, so... A little mongrel. You wanna steal my money? I will make you regret it. They will run away from me. And they always seem to attack just when I'm not looking. Need a ranged weapon like the boomerang. Yeah, they're cowards. They're not going to fight me directly. And there you go, you can wind up creating a small opening for yourself by using the grappling hook to very briefly stun them. And there we are, we've got another bottle, that's going to be handy. So the rats we don't have to do anything about. Alright, let's see. We can actually head to the south now. We can finally get to where we're supposed to go. Should be able to steal another joy pendant if I'm careful. There we go. How many have I stolen? Sixteen. Very good. Very good. Alright, now let's 
let's keep you happy. To the south! Avoid the cannon tower. Better set some bait. We're nicely stocked up on that at least. I can't remember where the fish is here, but we can just cruise along happy as we please. We're finally getting some progress in this absolute fiasco of an episode. Please tell me the weather's going to be good. Alrighty. Once we get within a certain distance, it's going to automatically snap us there. That's okay, I guess. So I'll probably just get in the boat and cruise around. Hey. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? I don't need glasses, I can see it. That is where you must go, Lunk, the forest haven. Oh, there's the fish. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface. But it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku Tree. You must speak with the Deku Tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Ferore's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Lunk. Can I actually get... Whoa, I can jump into the boat. We need information. I want information about this island. And there we go. Now I can actually take you back. Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that stuff. Let's get you the information. Just a wee bit north of this island, I've sometimes seen a merchant of incredible girth with a monstrous pack on his back. Now, what can he be doing on that lonely little isle? I tell you, there are some strange folk in the world, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Blah, 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 more bait. Can't fight evil on empty stomach, and I am off. Alright, so we can make landfall. Park my boat. And there we are. We have made it ashore on the Forest Haven. So we're going to encounter some new enemies. Now, demonstrate some I'll demonstrate something important here. These are Boko Barbers. You will always steal a Boko Barber seed from them first off. So, this is really, really useful. Whack them until they wind up standing up straight. And now if I remember correctly, we can swim through one of these. Oh no, it's the grappling hook we need. Some bodies of water we can't drown in, thankfully. So, use that moment of distraction. And there we go. That's a really good way to take care of Boko Barbers. You will want those seeds because on the Forest Haven, while it costs you four Boko Barber seeds each time, you can get a blue potion brew. The, the Korok Potion Master Hollow is very good at that. So, it's important to remember that. Oh, there is an Octorok. 
So, target an Octorok, and you'll bounce their rocks back at them. Oh, nice takedown. Oh, there's just a Bugo Barber down here. Well, we might as well get as many seeds as we can. And we'll wrap it up just before we enter the Forest Haven because, well, I can. Alright. Climb up and jump across. I'll show you what to do and then next time we will be back With that grappling hook, not. So I can't do anything about that. That's just sort of floating there permanently. Oh well. That is surprisingly effective. And there we go. Well, we've been doing some pretty heavy work. We might as well take a bath. Thank you very much for joining me. Till next time, this is Red 2, returning to base.